just like we talked about uh, Miller, he had to go to Vancouver. They had Absolutely. to get a goalie. Absolutely. And in spite of his not-so-flashy playoff, I still think he's going to give that team a chance to, to at least compete this year, which they didn't do last year. And actually, I was going to end on Vancouver because, I mean, Vancouver strikes me as a team that could be in that nowhere land, you know? Good enough to just make the playoffs or bad enough just to miss the playoffs. Then you get to the draft and you're picking 9th, 10th, or 11th, which does you no good, as history, for the most part, has shown. But, Bill, you think they might, in that Western Conference with Miller and now Roman Verbata, too, maybe compete for a playoff spot? First of all, they've got a pretty good defense. I think we all concede that. that and, and they didn't have they didn't have a good year with John Tortorella. Mm-hmm. So you know they're going to be better. Uh, Bonini is supposed to be a pretty good hockey player. He's 26 years old, so he's not a, a spring chicken. But he could be their second center. Yeah. And so the Twins have to come back. If you put the Twins with Verbata, Verbata will get 40. Like breaking sticks. And then you've got Benini and you've got the kid Horvat behind him. So you've got the center ice. I don't know what you're going to play on the wing, but you better find somebody because they've at least built themselves through center. This kid Horvat from London is not a bad player and was picked ninth. Yep. Is Corey Schneider in disguise? So he's got to be good. And I, I just, I, I think with the goalie there and the defense that they have and the center ice that they have. They'll be filling in with utility players on the second and third units, uh, and, and, and I, I think that will allow them to compete. That won't allow them uh, to make it, but they'll have a hell of a lot better chance than they would have had they not gotten Miller.